Okay, there are people who are, are sensitive to spirits, ghosts, energy. Um, fortunately, all of my encounters have been pleasant. I guess I'm, I attracted the more kind energy and I try to exude that. I had a, a trip to San Antonio planned for work and I'd invited a former friend and her mother to come with me. Well, her mother especially is one that purports to have had hundreds of um, ghost type experiences. Well, at our hotel, we've all gone to sleep. I had to get up early for a conference the next morning and they were gonna sightsee. Well, I guess about 1.30 in the morning, it sounded like our room was exploding. The mother had gotten up, gone to our restroom, and the next thing you know, every pipe is rattling and shaking in our whole room. Uh, the hotel could never find out what had happened, what was wrong. Water was shooting up out of the sink. Um, absolute craziness. And the only thing I can, can say is that she draws that type of energy because those are the type of experiences that she has. Violent, loud. Because um, I would not have believed it had I not been in that room. Um, fortunately, that type of energy doesn't seem to stick to me, thank God. Um, her entire life, it seems that she has had that type of, uh, of thing happen. But uh, just definitely something to think about. I've also heard, don't know this for a fact, I've not experienced it, but they say that a spirit can basically bond itself to a person. So if you are in a place where there is something ghostly, otherworldly, it may not always be good. And that can bond itself to a person who is open to it and travel with them elsewhere. Like you'll hear about uh, people that have lived in a house that had a ghost and they move and the ghost has moved with them. So those are unusual stories. And like I said, I don't know any of them to be factual but um, I just kind of had to wonder why that happened in our hotel room with that particular person. Anyway, just thought for fodder.